All right, guys, get ready, have a drink, be cozy. This is going to be a long video. I'm gonna do my best to make it brief. I think it is totally worth the watch. Um, you guys saw the, th the title, I was gonna say thumbnail. The title is extremely accurate. I added everything up, all my Amazon Prime orders, and I spent $1,001. I will say, I literally wrote out this list last night because I am going to be telling you guys prices, what I paid, what the regular prices, all those things. And more than half of this list is school stuff. I had to buy a lot of things for my classroom, for my job, you know, that's standard um, when you're a teacher. Um, and I figured might as well get it while it's on deal, might as well get it while I'm making extra money because I'm working the summer program. And then I purchased some things for my home. So I have like a home category, cleaning stuff. I have that category. And then the other stuff is kind of like just things I wanted. So I did obviously buy things I wanted, um, but a lot of things were things I, I really needed. Um, and then I got a lot of books. So I'll save the books for the end because I know that's not everyone's cup of tea. I'm going to start with the classroom stuff. I'm just going to go right down the list because that's going to be easier for me. The first thing I'm going to show you is the only thing I technically didn't get on Amazon Prime. I wanted to get it on Amazon but I needed it ASAP and it wasn't gonna, sh I like, it was like a Thursday when I ordered it and it wasn't gonna be at my house till Monday or Tuesday. I don't know why. So I popped onto Walmart and I ended up doing a Walmart pickup um, because I had a bunch of stuff I had to laminate for the summer program that, that weekend. But I was trying to find the cheapest deal possible because I could have ordered on Amazon a $50 one that probably would have been there next day. Uh, this one on, the one I wanted on Amazon wasn't this exact one, but it was 25. When I went to Walmart, they had this one for 28, and it was like the cheapest one I could find that would be available to pick up the next day. So I finally picked up a laminator. My last job, um, we had two laminators in the classroom that we were all allowed to use whenever you wanted. But uh, with this job, you know, it's 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 not like a. I'm the teacher, where my old job, I was just assisting the teacher. So I'm the one that has to supply the items, you know what I mean? So I finally gave in and I bought a laminator. So yeah, that was $28, that's like regular price, it's not like a deal. And then, let's see, okay, the next thing I got was drawers, well posters, I'm sorry, I'll show you the drawers in a second, was posters for my classroom. Because I wanted to dress up my classroom, you know, I wanna fill up the walls. For some reason, I cannot find them right now. Um, I didn't want them to like get crinkly and wrinkly before I brought them to the school. So I put them in a safe place. And you know, sometimes when you put things in a safe place, you can't find them. So Joe's at work. When he gets home later, I'm gonna ask if he has any idea where I put them. But I wanted to show them to you guys. I bought them for $15.96 and they're regularly $20. They're right here, they're listed as $19.95. So I saved a few bucks. They're listed as boho. I didn't get them though because I'm looking for a boho look. I just got them because it was what was most useful for me because there was different versions. But this one has the alphabet, the number chart, good manners chart, the solar system, emotions, shapes, basic colors, my body, moon phases, money math, time, a world map, a United States map, month of the year, day of the week, weather, and how are you feeling along with the emotions chart. So you get 18 different posters and they, they I wish I could show them to you guys because they are beautiful. They're like, you know, like kind not laminated, but it's um it's not paper. You know what I mean? It's it's gonna last a while and they're good size. They're 17 by 11. So they are gonna be perfect for my walls. And then I wanted a set of drawers. I'm sure you guys know the drawers you see on a lot of um like if you watch teacher content. It, a lot of them get the, the craft drawers from like Michaels that have all the different colored drawers. I know it's what my teacher use. And she, people, I've seen people do different things. Sometimes each drawer will be like a different subject, especially because I used to work in an elementary school where they teach multiple subjects. Or I know a teacher who used to do it as Monday to Friday and that she would have like her week set up with those drawers. So I wanted something similar. This one guys was on an amazing, amazing deal. Um, right now you can't even buy it regular. Like see how it says, see all buying options. And it's like $82. I paid, 
$36.50. And the reason it's empty on the top is that is going to hold file folders. You know the file folders with the little tabs on the side? They're gonna hang from there. So I'm gonna try to be on top of it and be organized right at the beginning of the year. So I'll have all my file folders ready to go and then I have drawers for my supplies. So I was super excited. I already brought this to the school so I couldn't show it to you guys. Uh, cause since I am working this summer, I'm like, let me start slowly bringing things in so it doesn't, um, I don't have to bring everything in like the first week of school. The next thing we have here is, I'm sure you guys see, like I said, if you watch teacher content, I'm saying that I'm sure you guys seen it, but I've seen it because I work at a school, um, is these. Usually these are colorful as well, but I preferred the clear. And these are photo keeps, that's what they're technically for. It's like a photo keeper. Uh, so let me open it up so you guys can see. This is just labeled. But you literally just get that. This is the pot that's usually colorful. It's like a different color for each one. But I bought the clear ones. And as you can see, it's just these slim little holders you get. How many of these do you get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you get 18 because it holds nine on each side. Some are in my classroom right now holding things. That's why they're not in here. Eventually, this will go to my classroom. I've just been prepping stuff at home. And it's nice because it has this handle. So this photo case holder I got for $22. It is regularly $36. Then I got, well, you can't have a laminator without lamination sheets, right? So I wasn't going to buy scotch. They're usually more expensive. Uh, but this was honestly the best deal. You got 200 of them. I probably already used a good 50 or 60. Um... 200 of them it was 27.99 so that is a really 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 good price because it's really 53.29 you can usually get like 100 sheets for 25 so the fact that i got 200 for 28 is amazing and i kind of like it comes in this really really nice box because sometimes these lamination sheets can be a hot mess but you open up the box help if i pull the tab and I just put all the lamination sheets inside like this. It did come a box in a box. But then, like, you know, you you have a million things around you. You're trying to laminate. You're trying to cut. And it's hard sometimes. So I just took it out of the normal box and put it right in this box. And honestly, I plan on saving this box. Even if I end up buying, like, a different brand. Because sometimes, I know I bought in, like, the Walmart brand lamination sheets for my old job. Because even though the teacher supplied the laminator. And a lot of times she had lamination sheets. You just, you know they're expensive. So you feel that. So once in a blue moon, I would buy some and bring it in. Um, and I've done like the Walmart Pen and Gear brand. Um, so no matter what brand I buy, I think I'll be saving that box. I think it's a really smart way to store it. Then I had to buy a paper cutter. So this was regular price. Not everything was prime day deals. Cause like I said, it was things I needed. Like this and the laminator were regular price, but this was $10.99. I have already been using it. I just keep it in here. Cause I think it's just so, it's just smart and easier that way. Instead of this thing moving back and forth in my bag or whatever. And it's just so easy to just open up as you guys can see. So yeah, I had to get a paper cutter to cut my laminated goods. Okay, then this was another thing that was a regular price trust me you guys are definitely going to see more prime day deals really soon but again it was things i needed so this was not on sale i literally went to dollar tree because i was just going to buy them a dollar tree and of course i went and there was none and i said well i just got to order it because i need it so i figured i would buy it a little bit more in bulk i'm not sure if it came out cheaper because i don't know how many you get at dollar tree but this was eight dollars and it is nice because it comes in this little case so it's easy to keep everything organized and a lot of times once my stuff is laminated i have to put a little hole punch in the corner and i will put my metal, metal rings depending what it is not everything but sometimes it's easier for the kids instead of like holding a stack a lot of times you know it slips it falls on the ground it falls out of their fingers with a little book ring everything can be on one and they can easily just flip through it like a mini book so i bought the book rings then i bought foam letters we did um spelling with this the other day so it's already been opened this thing came with over a thousand it says a thousand fifty um this was on sale 
Uh, I paid $11.99. It was regularly $13.49. And what's really nice about these is they have a sticky back. So I didn't have the kids unstick it because um, I want to be able to reuse this over and over again. They literally were just spelling as is. I was going to buy the magnetic ones, but the magnetic ones, which we had in my old classroom, were like 25 bucks versus this one, which, as I told you guys, was $11.99. And it came with a lot more letters. So I was like, I'm just gonna get this one. And then one day in the future, if I ever do have to do a project where I need letters, I have them. So, cause these are technically like for poster boards. I thought about doing like a book journal before. Well, I have done, I just haven't kept up with it. So it's something I can incorporate with crafting and it's cheap to rebuy again if I need it. Then I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I did not need this because I just bought a customized planner from Paper Plum, which you guys think I'm gonna give it its whole, its whole own video. Um, it, it was on the pricey side, but it's a hundred percent customizable and beautiful But Charmaine sent me this and I fell in love with it So I bought it anyway because this one is undated so I might use this one next year or maybe I might use it this year Maybe I'll separate because as a special education teacher It's almost like I have two jobs in one because I have the job that's what you guys see the teaching you know what you, you what you see in when you were in a student or what you see if you watch tvs and movies where it's like i design a lesson plan i hold out that lesson plan every day monday through friday i grade the papers i put in the grades i write the progress reports like that's like the normal everyday teaching thing but as a special education teacher i also have to write ieps and hold iep meetings so that's like a whole separate part of the job um, so it's a lot. So I was thinking about maybe making the other one like just for like lesson planning and maybe like, this one for like IEP things. I'm not sure yet, but I absolutely love that you even get stickers with this one, which is really nice. So you get a bunch of stickers here and I love it. It even says like report cards do, field trip, must do, remember. I think those are going to come in super handy. And it has a really cute pages like this that just have like quotes. I got the rainbow themed one. And then this is what the week looks like. So it has um, Monday to Friday because it is a teacher planner. And that's when I work, you know, weekends off. And then you can put the subjects on the top. It, this is, I think if you're more like a grade school teacher, you teach different subjects. I do not because I'm high school. So I'll be teaching the same subject every day. Um, and then it has the, you know, the standard calendar. But this was regularly... $17.99 and I got it for $13.82. You guys know prices on Amazon it can be super random. And then I got these bingo markers. I'm using this for the summer program. I have a cute little project in mind with these. We usually use these a lot in elementary school. You can actually just do art projects with them, but you can also incorporate this in learning, especially when you have kids that don't really know how to write. This is absolutely amazing. It's a good thing to, you know, practice there. I don't know, finger skills with, I don't know what word I'm looking for. I'm not an OT specialist, guys. But, you know, like ripping the pen and making the marks. So I have this really cute um, assignment that I plan on doing a few of them that needed bingo markers. So I finally picked these up because my old teacher used to have them all the time. And they were $11.99 for me. It was a lightning deal. They are regularly $13.99. So it wasn't like these huge deals on these teacher things, but a $2 here, $2 there, $3. And it saved me a lot of money because I did purchase a big bulk of items. Then I got these Bic Mechanical Pencils. So the school obviously supplies us with regular pencils. Um, but the truth is, so I, last year I was in a class where I shared the class with a different teacher. So that's why I didn't really need to buy these things. She allowed me to use her laminator and I use like her, her stapler, her hole, her hole puncher, her paper trimmer, whatever. But I am finally gonna officially have my own room come September. And I don't have a pencil sharpener in there. And I'm not sure if that's something they provide. I gotta, cause it's not like the old school ones that are attached to the wall anymore. It's like an electric one. So I don't know, I gotta talk to the school. If not, I was thinking about maybe buying like just like cheap regular ones. Um, and whenever the kids need to sharpen their pencils, they can use that one. But then I saw these on deal cause an electric sharpener is like $40 on Amazon Prime. And I did not want to spend $40 on electric sharpener. So then I saw these and I thought maybe I'll just supply the kids with these. Because a lot of times, this might last me the year, because a lot of times they will use it in the class and then they return it. They're really good at returning the supplies and not keeping it if they don't have a pencil because they know the next teacher will offer them a pencil and so on and so forth, you know? So I this was a 40 pack for $8.49. And with this, I won't have to worry about 
sharpening the pencil. And also, not only is pencil sharpening as expensive, they're annoying, they're loud. I hate, I hate when I'm in the middle of a lesson and then a kid's sharpening his pencil, to be honest with y'all. Then this, I listed it in here, it's towards the end of the list because it's like, now we're getting into less schooly things, but still school. This is going to be for my planner. I think I'm gonna color code certain things to make my life easier, like, you know, like grading can be one color, progress reports can be another, like just a way to keep myself organized. So, and I, 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 I love paper mate ink joy pens. When you write a lot for your job, you start, you start to love certain pens. And this was regularly $9.99, I paid $7.98. Now, here's a few things I bought for my classroom that aren't necessarily like classroom items, but things I wanted for my classroom. So I bought this essential oil diffuser. Uh, it looks green down here. It did come in green, but I ordered the black. And then it has this beautiful, like, white marbly top with gold accents. It came in black, white, red, blue, emerald, dark green, spotted purple, and spotted blue. I thought this would be really cool for when the kids are doing, like, work individually. When I'm not, like, leading at the top of the, you know, beginning of the classroom, I can um, e maybe even turn off the lights, depending on how much light is coming through the sun. I used to turn off the lights in my classroom last year all the time i don't really like harsh lighting um and then i could turn this on and this would have a light and a glow and it would help make the room smell good especially because i haven't told you guys i don't think that i'm actually gonna be a life skills teacher next year so i am going to be doing a lot of um cooking and cleaning with them it's you know it goes into more than just that but they are expected to make like one recipe a week there is actually like an oven in my room a microwave um a washer dryer because I have to teach them how to do that too so I think it's gonna sometimes there's gonna be a lot of smells you know so I figured this might be a good thing I have a bunch of um oils in my house so I'm just gonna pick through and bring some with me when I bring this but this was regularly $26.99 I got it for $19.99 this was even on my wish list so I finally just picked it up so that'll be for my classroom and then another thing for my classroom that's like not necessarily a classroom item, but something I wanted was this desk fan. So again, the oven's going to be on. It's going to be hot. They're going to have the heater on. It's going to be winter. I cannot control the temp of my classroom. You know, the school controls that. So I'm like, there's going to be moments where I'm going to get really hot. And just, a, you know, a window being open might not make a difference. So this was regularly $24.99, guys. I got it for $9.99. And when I checked last night, this was still on sale. So if this interests you, pick it up. I know a lot of you guys work like office jobs, but you can have it just like this and it'll just release like, you know, it, the cold air out. Or you could actually lift this and angle it towards you. And you put water at the bottom of this and you can even mist yourself with water. That's what the water button is for. And this says if you put ice in the water, it will literally be compared to the feeling of an air conditioner. So I figured for $9.99, I would try it out. I like the idea of it misting me too, if I ever get like really overheated. So instead of like a standard desk fan, this one's definitely a little fancier. I will say it didn't come as as many colors because I would have preferred a neutral color. I think it literally only come, came in this yellow, green, and pink. But I am super excited to try this out. Um, you do have to charge it. It's not battery operated. It comes with a little cord. But in case any of y'all are interested, I will be linking everything down below. I should have said that in the beginning. But that is something I generally do uh, with videos when I'm showing you things. You know, if it's not like a you know, a subscription box or a mystery box. Um, so yes, I will be linking everything. If anything interests you, definitely check out down below. All right, so I also bought something that, it's the only thing that hasn't come in yet and I didn't want to wait to film this video. And it was just a big box of Viarity snacks. Um, you get like 20 bags of different chips. It's normally like $20. I got the popcorn ones, I should have said that. Cause like the Lay's, the Cheetos, those are cheaper. But I'm trying to eat a little better. So I got the popcorn ones cause those are popped and not fried. Um, and it's, it says it's usually $20. I looked now and it's $20. I paid $13.99. So I think that's really well priced because it's like less than a dollar a bag. And if you tried to buy that in a store, it probably would be a dollar, a dollar something a bag. So I plan on just keeping that in one of my cabinets and it'll be like a little snack for me in the classroom as part of my lunch. Now the next thing I got, but like I said, 
It's not definitely not classroom related, but I will be using it for work. And I wanted a work bag. So I had a work bag just like this last year in cream and it got dirty. And I said, maybe this isn't the greatest thing for work. So I'm gonna try to wash it, clean it, and just keep it as like an everyday bag when I go out. So I said, I'm gonna buy a dark color to be a work bag. I was using a backpack for a while too, but that's because I was moving to tons of different classrooms. Next year I'll be in one classroom. So I would like to have not a backpack so I don't look like a student, which is totally fine. I mean, it's a compliment really. Um, but I would like to have like a nicer bag. So I'll just, um, look more professional I guess I don't know so I bought the black version so this is a Marc Jacobs dupe because obviously it doesn't say Marc Jacobs but it says the tote bag and it's that nice strong canvas material because I will be carrying a laptop my planner my lesson plans whatever so it's gonna be a lot of heavy things in here I will say I use the cream one and it, it's still in good condition other than it having like scuff marks and stuff um, this canvas is very strong because back in the day I hated using backpacks when I went to school I've always just more, been more of a purse girl and I used to pull a lot of crap in them and the straps would eventually break so I'm like let me invest in something better quality but I didn't want the real thing because they're expensive but I will say jo Joe actually got me the real thing for Christmas um, but I just don't want to use it to work because it's, it's a, I don't know just a real bag like let me mm -hmm. so I bought a fake one so this was normally $80, which again, for a fake bag is expensive for me. Um, I bought the cream one when it was on sale. I think it was on sale for 60 when I bought it. Um, for black, well, I was gonna say Black Friday. For Prime Day, guys, it was on sale for $44.24. So it was literally almost half price and it's regularly 80 and guys, it's still on sale. So run. They also have the smaller size if you want something smaller and it comes with two straps. So it comes with a standard black strap if you just wanna do black on black. And then it comes with this really cute striped one, which I love, but I ended up buying my own strap as well because I have really been into the black and white checkered print and I'm not seeing it here in front of me. And I swear, guys, I tried to be so organized for a start of the camera. That wasn't a, on sale anyway. It was $12.99. I paid full price. But you can buy so many different, like, removable straps on Amazon if you want to change up the straps on your bag. So it's really just a really cute black and white checkered print. So I am, I bought that for this bag. And then the other thing I bought for this bag is this purse insert so somebody on instagram actually shared the bag that's when i originally bought it like i don't know i bought it like the school year um i started in january so it was probably like march or april uh the only thing i will say is it is a big bag it is kind of floppy so so you throw something in there sometimes it's like in the abyss so she showed this and she said it made her bag so organized. So it is two pieces. I didn't realize that when I first got it. So I was like, wow, that's like a big open pocket. You could do it like this if you really wanted. Then you have two side pockets here, two side pockets in here, two side pockets on the outside. So you can definitely be more organized. Then you can use this as a separate piece if you want. Or technically, you guys see that Velcro? It is supposed to be in the center over here because the center has Velcro over here. So then now you have two separate pockets to separate your things. And then you have the zipper pocket, which apparently was unzipped and I just zipped it. So you got this whole other pocket here. I can put like my wallet, another big pocket here, a bunch of pockets here. So you can make this bag super duper organized. So I picked this up. I figured my laptop can sit nicely like on the side of this with my notebook and all my little things would fit perfectly in here. Like my pencil case, my wallet, my cell phone. Um, you know, I usually bring like a little chapstick, keys. So this bag, organized insert, is regularly $35. I got it for $26.99. I would love to know where the strap went. <laughs> I will find it though. So now we're going to go into cleaning stuff. So the cleaning stuff wasn't necessarily a sale. It was regular price. But what they were doing was if you spent $50 on certain items, you would get $10 off. So I had a few things like on my grocery list and I was like, perfect, I'll just get it from Amazon. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, guys. 
A lot of talking. Oh, the strap was literally right here in front of me. I'll show you guys the strap quick. But I decided I would just buy it off Amazon and get, you know, take advantage of the $10 off coupon. This is it at its smallest. So you can extend this and make it really long. You guys can't even see it's not even fully on camera. And they had it with the silver accents or the gold accents. So I picked it up in the silver. And it just says it's a poly cotton hook buckle adjustable length 28 to 50. And over here, funny thing is it says $14.99, but I paid $12.99, like I said. Now for the cleaning items, I need a Donda soap. So usually I get it at Walmart. I like to get the big gallons and refill my cute little glass dispenser. Amazon had a two pack for $19.99. So like I said, it didn't save me money because it's basically what I pay. But I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna stock up. I'll pick up these two. I might even bring one to my classroom. Cause like I said, I actually do have like a sink and stuff. And then I got these washing machine tablets. Me and Joe swear by these. We run a cycle once a month with one of these tablets. When we, we bought the washing machines hand-me-down when we first got them, Joe's like, oh, there's like a smell. And I was like, oh, you know, sometimes they do can get like mildewy because you know, it's water. So I said, use one of these. And then you also also like leave the door open to kind of let everything like dry. And we have not had an issue ever since. And it even says you can mark each month as you do it. Like if you want to keep track. Yeah, and it says use once a month or every 30 cycles. Me and Joe usually just do about once a month. Um, maybe he forgets and it's every other. I don't know. He's the one that does the laundry in the household, to be honest with y'all. He even told me he's going to have to teach me how to do laundry again. Because it's been so long and I have to do it with the kids. Um, but uh, we, don't, we definitely don't do 30 cycles in, in a month. That's insane. I mean, I'm sure people with kids do. But me and Jude, Joe do maybe one a week. Um, and then we needed to hit the $50 mark. And I wanted one of these, these Lysol fabric disinfectants. I have one, it wasn't Lysol brand, but it's a disinfectant spray. I think it's by Odor Van, but it's this small and I bought it at Dollar Tree. And once in a blue, blue moon, I sprayed down my couches, especially because I do have cats. You saw Mango pop up. I just received these couches. You guys know I've been filming in a new space. I will get back to the bookcase eventually. I've just been loving these new couches and it's so much easier to have the coffee table in front of me. But they're not new, they're hand me down. So these actually came from my grandmother. Um, sorry. So I needed a um, fabric disinfectant because she had a dog as well too. So I was like, you know, this little one ain't gonna cut it anymore. I gotta buy like a nice big one. So when I looked on um, Walmart, these are $7 each. Amazon, well, $7.50 or something like that. Amazon had it for like 21. So you save like a little bit buying it in bulk. Um, but it's not something I normally would have done. But for me to hit that $50 mark, get the $10 off, I said, why not, whatever. So I'm gonna use one currently. The other two can go in the back towards the back and when I need it I know I have it so I do plan on spraying the couches down more regularly which will give me some peace of mind all right so yeah that was the cleaning things so it hit about 50 bucks and it took ten dollars off because so the two done the way um Amazon does it is they kind of separated the order probably because this came from one hair house or one came from the other when I looked up what I paid for the two Dawn dish soaps and this a fresh it was $23.51. So that was like a $6 savings because this normally would have been $30, right? Because this was 20 and this is 10. So it took $6 off that way. And then the Lysol fabric disinfectant was charged separately and came in a separate box. And I paid, where is it? $16.81 when it was normally 21. So I saved $4 that way. So save six, four i saved 10 if that makes sense to you guys and then the another cleaning thing i bought which actually was a prime deal it was not um what do you call it this wasn't part of the 10 for 50 i bought this the second day because prime day was like two or three days i finally gave in and bought the clorox toilet wand um i tried to not use a lot of chemicals and i try not to use like things that you have to constantly refill and repurchase um 
but the truth is like my toilet's not getting as cleaned as often as it should because it's an inconvenience so sometimes you give in you pay more for the inconvenience for the convenience of this just like i have been thinking about buying like a shower scrubber like you know the ones on the stick the extendable ones because i am like struggling sometimes to clean my shower and i'm just at the point where i want to make my life easier my house is getting like messier i'm having a harder time life has been hard lately so if this makes my life easier it makes my life easier so this was a deal of the day and for some reason the deal of the day won't show what i paid um it's regularly 21 though and i want to say guys i paid 14 or 15 dollars so it's the starter kit so i get the wand the caddy and 16 refills and i actually posted as i was getting the things i posted on instagram so instead of one big haul like you guys are getting for youtube with Instagram, it was like a little clip each day and people slid up and they said that they love this thing, that it is so worth the money, that it makes cleaning the toilet so much easier. Um, someone's like, you know, I hate toilet brushes. I find them so gross just sitting there full of germs in your bathroom. So she just uses this and then it's nice because I'm pretty sure, don't yell at me if I'm wrong, I will read the little paper it comes with, but I'm pretty sure you can just click. I think that's the whole point. You like click the wand and the cleaner pot folds off and you're allowed to flush it down the toilet. I will double check um but yeah it does seem like really convenient so i finally i finally just gave in and purchased it now i'm going to show you guys i think i forgot something oh yes i knew it because i'm like looking in this box and i'm like sorry this guys this was a school item it is still sealed in the box i'm not going to open it up on camera but it is just a little label maker so it's like a little light white square with the tape inside i type something a little white tape comes out i'm sure you guys have seen a label maker this was this one was a good deal because I saved like ten dollars. This was regularly twenty three ninety nine. I got it for thirteen fifty nine, and I figured this would just be a good way to organize my classroom. I'll probably use it here too, you know, maybe like my pantry, whatever. But for my classroom, especially like with the photo keeper, instead of using the labels it gave me and having to handwrite, I could use these. I could label what's in each of these. Or because my classroom's kind of like a kitchen, I've been thinking about la labeling each individual cabinet. It might be easier. We'll see. Instead of me opening every single cabinet when I'm trying to teach a lesson, I could just read what's in front of it. All right, so let's jump back. So home stuff. I have been wanting these air fryer liners. It came like vacuum packed, so it looks so strange to me right now. But as you can see, that's the two handles. So it's just this round silicone piece with the two handles i have been using like the disposable ones and again i try to do stuff i don't have to constantly like rebuy or reuse the cat so this is perfect because you just hand wash it when you're done so once i'm through the, with those liners or i might just hold, save the liners for like really greasy things like maybe bacon and stuff um i was i this has been on my list for a while i've been wanting to purchase them they weren't like a huge deal. I feel like these used to be, were more expensive when they first came out. Or maybe I just scored like a cheap brand. I don't know. Because I remember I've seen people link these and they were like, you know, over $10. You know, like $12.99, $13.99, $14.99, whatever. And these were, it said regular seven. I paid $5. And you get two, guys. This is a red one and a black one. And I do need the smaller size because I don't have like the huge air fryer. So I finally got that. And then I picked up a fire stick. I have a uh spare room in this house that has just had a lot of things in it and i finally cleaned it the other day and me and joe do have like a little um exercise equipment we have some weights um like a jump rope i have a yoga mat so i have been thinking about making that temporarily like a workout room the goal one day is hopefully it's a nursery i don't know we'll see so that's why it's kind of just been empty i haven't like filled it with anything because then i know it's just stuff that has to get moved but uh i mean the exercise stuff's in there right now so i've just been thinking about making it so anyway i have a spare tv that someone gave me it was a hand me down that's just been sitting in the corner of the room uh now that the room is cleaned out like i said i think i'm gonna set up the tv so i needed a fire stick for it and this is an amazing deal on amazon prime day obviously because this is an amazon product so they can give you a really good deal this was regularly 40 dollars. i got it for $16.99 guys like that is more than half off and there's a 50% off code right now so you won't get it for as cheap as me but you get it for $20 that's only a few bucks more than I paid so if you have a spare tv you need a fire stick it's still on special so definitely consider picking it up and a fire stick just helps your tv become a smart tv if you don't have one it gives you access to all these apps of course you have to pay for the service 
but then once the fire sticks in you go to the fire stick and you'll see youtube netflix and that's a lot of what i watch i don't have cable so i will just go straight to the app uh, once you're signed in the first time usually keeps you signed in and you're ready to go and it even has like special like prime video buttons netflix buttons so i wanted to pick up one of those for the spare tv since that i think is going to be like a little workout room for me now and i picked up this makeup bag i have been wanting one of these for quite a while i have makeup bags but they're the standard ones you know the ones that you just fill up and then a lot of times you got to move all the stuff on the top to get to the stuff on the bottom this one is special i'm sure you guys have seen this i feel like this like blew up on tiktok because once you open it it opens flat so you can see everything that's in here so you have one big pocket here one big pocket here and then there's a pocket in the middle i think this pocket in the middle is perfect for brushes to keep them separate and then there also is a little zipper pocket here if you want to put anything like special over here um but i have been dying for one of these it was a good price on prime day because this is regularly like 25 dollars. it was on sale for 14.99 so again i saved about 10 dollars. right now when i look it is 22 so you would still get a small deal on it if it interests you they had it in a bunch of different colors i just really love this chocolate brown color and then it does have a really nice handle on the top another thing i got this is definitely not something i needed but it's something i wanted and it is these beautiful coffee mugs i don't know if you guys have seen this on your feed but i feel like everyone on ne uh let's say netflix everyone on youtube everyone on instagram probably tiktok have these mugs i know sarah ray vargas showed these mugs she's like a bigger youtuber i've seen them on small pages on instagram people have them on their coffee bar they are just absolutely gorgeous they also make a really nice gift so this is how they come packaged like how gorgeous is that it comes with the two gold spoons and then these mugs are stackable so i think that's what gives them a, an a extra special factor and they match without being matchy matchy because this one has the medallions this one just has the pebbled look and as you see they stack on top of each other so i they have ones with lids as well that's the ones i originally wanted but they were not on sale for prime day these were and i said you know what if they have the lid then of course they're stackable what's cool about these is you don't need the lid and it's stackable so i said i think i'm just gonna get these they had that's a translucent they also have like um a rainbow like it's like not rainbow it's iridescent that's the word i'm looking for and they probably have other ones um those were regularly 20 I got them for $15.99, so it wasn't a huge sale, but it had been on my wish list for a while, and it was a small sale, so I said, you know what, I'm just going to pick it up. Then I got, guys, I swear, oh, here it is, this necklace holder. I saw this on an Amazon favorites video, and I fell in love. I have been looking for something to organize all my jewelry as well. So this is really nice. You just open it up, and then it has these two spinny things. So we can hold a bunch of necklaces you can buy just this one which is cheaper i got the one that has the extra little thing because it comes with this cute little velvet box so on the left you can put like either bracelets or earrings and then on the right you can put rings and this fits perfectly at the bottom so if all and my necklace is not super long so i think that'll be good so or even if i leave this empty and all the necklaces can kind of land on here and then this has the special holders for the rings but this was regularly 33 dollars i paid 25.49 so again i saved a few dollars right now there is a six dollar coupon at least when i looked yesterday so if this interests you just click the little check and pick this up i thought this was absolutely gorgeous to have out on my vanity like that and keep all my necklaces organized another item i saw in an amazon favorites video was these paw paw wonder blender sponges these are compared to the viral sponge what's it called oh my god beauty blender i say it's not coming to me now and you guys know the beauty blenders are what 20 bucks a sponge i don't know it's been years since i bought one so i could totally be wrong about that um people have been swearing by these that they're just as soft and feel just as nice as the beauty blender and i will say within the bag can you guys see how like bouncy these are they do feel very soft it does say use wet or dry super soft technology squishy and bouncy expands one wet Flawless application, hypoallergenic, designed for both large and hard to reach areas of the face. That's why it's double ended. So the skinny end is like, you know, more for the inside of your eye, under your eye, and then you have the big end, you know, just to do your cheeks and chin. Um, 
and you can even see the softness scale like firm to soft it's literally all the way over here at soft so these are already a good deal compared to the beauty blender and then for prime day they were even better deal so you get six sponges it's normally 12.99 so that's like 50 cents a sponge no a sponge. clearly i can't do math that is like two dollars a sponge but i pay eight dollars so just over a dollar a sponge oh guys oh okay another thing i saw on an amazon favorites video this was more things i wanted not things i needed and it was this argon oil hair mask this was recommended to me by Brittany vassar um she also goes by vassar beauty um, she has a lot of cool Amazon recommendations. I've always enjoyed the stuff she shared. So I figured I would get it. When I got it, it was a lightning deal. Again, it won't show me what the lightning deal was, but I know it was under $10. I want to say it was like eight or nine. And the regular price on this is $16.99. So I definitely saved a decent amount of dollars. And right now it's on sale for $12.49. So it's not as good of a deal as what I got, but definitely consider picking it up. She said like, oh, I use hair masks all the time. And a lot of times I don't even notice a difference. She said this was the first hair mask she used where she legit noticed how soft her hair was. And it does say deep conditioning, hydration for soft, silky, and healthier looking hair. Sulfate free, paraben free. It's eight and a half ounce jar. And we all know um, argon oil is really good for your hair. So I will definitely be using this as my next hair mask when that one runs out. Then another thing that Brittany Vassar shared was these toothpaste. I know she loves this brand. She recommended their whitening strips as well. Last year, I bought the whitening strips due to her recommendation. I did really like them. Um, they're like more like a natural. Um, they, they're good for people that have sensitive teeth. They don't hurt your teeth. I, they're probably just like more, yeah, more natural, less chemicals, I guess. So this year, instead of buying the whitening strips, I was like, let's just buy the whitening toothpaste. These are certified non-toxic, whitens without the sensitivity, enamel safe, and peroxide free. This two pack was eight dollars. Cause I remember I was like, oh, four bucks a tube, that's not bad. It's regularly fourteen dollars. So I saved like six bucks. Um, so definitely something you consider picking up. They did have it a single. Of course, when you buy in bulk a little bit, you save a little bit more. So I bought the two pack what else what else oh acrylic drawers that's these bad boys right here okay i will say this is not as good of a deal as i thought it was but whatever it's here i will use them i thought these were going to be much bigger my fault for not watching me looking at the dimensions these are seven and a half long six inches wide by four and a half inches high i have a set of drawers that i bought from home goods that i love that i use on my vanity where i keep like excess makeup products and then the top is nice because you can store other so i store my tall like hair care products um so i thought that this was basically going to be that and i paid 25 at home goods for that this said it was regularly 25 so i figured it was about the same thing my fault and on sale for prime day it was 15.29 they claim that's a sale but it's still $15.29, guys. So if you want this, I'm not, I'm not saying it's a bad product. You're getting two really nice acrylic drawers. You know acrylic drawers can be expensive. I just think $15.29 might be their regular price. Sometimes they try to make things look like it's a prime deal when it's not. Because I think if I paid more than $15 for these, I would be kind of disappointed because they are on the smaller side. This is good to hold smaller things. Like if you want this under your bathroom sink, you know, you can put your feminine care products you can put nail products tanning products you know whatever you use that's like smaller you know it can't be like hair care products obviously or you can put this under your kitchen sink you can put your sponges your this um detergent tabs if you have a wash um a washing machine oh my god a dishwasher i was originally thinking like something for my vanity but because of the size i think i'm just going to be bringing these to my classroom i think this might be good for office supplies like my binder clips my paper clips things like that we shall see but i bought them and they're here then oh guys i picked up the chom chom roller so i have already used this amazing i post that on instagram i think anyone who has pets needs this in their life this was a recommendation from sarah ray vargas not for prime day she just always shows things that she likes throughout all her vlogs and because she has two cats and this is normally $32. I got it for a wicked good deal. I got it for $20. When I looked right now, it was 25. 
and there was a 20% off code so not bad but basically it uses this is like a it's not sticky so it's not like a, um normal lint rollers where you have to keep uh rebuying um so that's why i said I like using products that i don't have to keep rebuying but it is almost like a textured fabric that things just kind of like stick to it and then it uses these silicone brushes as well to kind of push and it uses with that and the friction of you going back and forth it picks up all the hairs and then the silicone brush pushes it underneath and then it ends up in here so you hit the little button and all oh some of mango's hair is still in there i didn't fully clean it out because <laughs> that top of that couch where he's laying right now let me show you guys gets a lot of orange hair so this has come super duper and handy for me i have already been loving and using this product if you have animals definitely consider picking this up that's definitely something i needed then i treated myself to another laneige lip sleeping mask i love these they're normally 24 dollars on um prime day or black friday they're 15.99 so you save a few dollars um last year i bought the purple one which i believe was gummy bear this one is berry the pink one i will say i feel like the gummy bear came with a spatula and this one did not i still have a little bit of the gummy bear so when that one runs out i have my next one so these do last quite a while because you only need a teensiest amount and makes your lips feel so good i usually put it on every night before bed so i figured i would stock up on that i also purchased some liquid iv these are normally 25 dollars um, I got it on sale for $16.99. I have bought them before. They don't go on sale super often. I want maybe the last one was Black Friday. I don't remember. Um, because that is pricey for me. I'm cheap. You only get 16 sticks in here. So even for $17.99, I'm paying a uh, $16.99. I'm paying a doll uh, more than a dollar a stick. But that's a good deal. $25 is pushing it for me. I will say I do love these in the summer. I don't generally drink a, use this in the fall, winter so this is definitely a summer thing for me i am very prone to headaches in the heat um i don't hydrate as often as i should joe too i'm always trying especially because he works outside i am always begging him to please drink more he's even been coming home with headaches so drinking one of these equals drinking like three bottles of water as it shows you it's definitely better in my opinion than like a gatorade or power i don't even like the flavors of those things i love the flavors of these the last one i bought was a strawberry this one is the passion fruit uh, Fat for Fun actually had this in their summer box and you can add it on for eight. That is the best deal I've ever seen. It sold out so fast because people love this stuff. It is filled with um, essential oil, essential oils, oh my God, essential vitamins and electrolytes. And it does say faster hydration than water alone and the flavors are just so, so good. So I treated myself to a bag since it was on sale. That is something I will never purchase regular price. I I'm sorry, I'm just cheap. Then, okay. The next thing I got is where the big ticket item comes in because this is like one third of what I spent. Because like I said, I spent $1,000. One item was 260 bucks. And then of course guys, I am not giving you the prices of the taxes. I think altogether it ended up being like 275. But if you buy it right now, it's 260. This is it right here. I cannot show it to you because it is under my couch. These are the new style treadmill. Some people call them walking pads, but you can run on them. This one goes up to seven miles an hour, uh, 7.0, whatever. Um, so that's definitely running. But these are so nice because they're so compact. I used to have a treadmill. Took up so much room in my bedroom when I was growing up as a teenager, always trying to lose weight, hating my body. Now it's more about just wanting to incorporate more movement into my body, not necessarily losing weight. But it's so nice. I got the one with the safety handles. I know they sell the ones that don't have the safety handles. I would not feel safe because I am a klutz. Um, this one also has the safety string so you can clip it to you so that way if you fall god forbid you hurt yourself when that string is pulled the machine will automatically stop so i liked the feature of that one um it just the only thing i will say is i exceed the weight limits by a little bit so i'm hoping it's just a suggestion we shall see um it's really hard to find ones that have like a higher weight limit and it comes with a little remote control so that's why because you don't have like the actually this one does have the buttons on top if you have the bar up if you have the bar down then you would have to use the remote control if you want to make it um 
faster, slower, all those things. So me and Joe, it literally just came in the other day. Joe tried it out. It seems good so far. And the whole point of these is I think because they know a lot of people are working from home is you can put it under a desk. So you can incorporate it in if you're like, especially a social work from home, you don't get to move your body as much. Me, this is just going to be while I'm watching TV after work. Um, I want it under my couch. Even though I do have that spare room, I know eventually I'm not going to have that room available to me. Hopefully. So um, that exercise equipment is smaller and compact. I'm not worried about it. I can move it into a different room in the future. But I didn't want to buy this big awkward treadmill that I would like eventually have to like be like, oh my God, where am I going to put this? So having the foldable one that fits under the couch is perfect. Um, yeah. So... I picked it up and I thought it was a prime deal but apparently 260 was the regular price these do go all the way up to $500 it depends on the brand you buy I guess and then I bought oh I did not write the prices of those two things because or did I I didn't even realize I forgot about those okay I bought a car vacuum I have been wanting one of these for a while I cleaned out my car like in April or May. I have a tendency to make things dirty. And I was just throwing things in my back seat and blah, blah. And then one day my brother was fixing my car. I He has like a little like garage. And I literally rolled up his trash barrel to my car and I said, hey, while you do that, I'm gonna clean my trunk and back seat. And I have helped it clean ever since. I am being adamant about like just keeping an area clean once I go to all that effort. The only thing I will say is it does need to be like a vacuum. It's like there's definitely like little rocks and sand and like that kind of stuff, but not not junk. You know what I mean? It's so I said, I just know me, I am not gonna go to a location constantly to be detailing my car. So I said, I'm just gonna buy one for home. So this is regularly $40. I got it for $22.99 and it is still on sale. It comes with a, so if you don't want to keep it in the box, it comes with this really cool little drawstring dust bag. The suction on it, guys, is pretty amazing. So you get, this is the vacuum itself. This thing you twist, so it's like foldable, but you twist it. And I'm gonna turn it on for you guys to see. And it lights up, it has an LED light. So I thought that was amazing so you can really get, see everything in your car. That's the light and then look. Can you guys see that? It is literally lifting the skin on my hands. It has a filter. This filter is washable. It says you can use it up to like 500 times. And then it comes with a backup filter and then Mango's looking like you disturbed my slumber. Look. He's like, what was that? He's like, stop putting me on camera unless I'm getting paid. And then it comes with three different heads. You get the bigger holes so you can really get into the little details. It comes with this little brush that you can add onto this. And then it comes with the big brush. And you have to charge it it's not battery operated i suck at like constantly replacing batteries um and i think this is the one that can go right in your little thing in your car so you can charge it right in the car so i've been dying to use that so i think i'm going to literally do that later my car sitting in the driveway might as well okay oh and then the last thing that is like for home before i get into the books is the two things I forgot to write down prices for but this I know was dirt cheap this was a really good deal these are, are they 10 foot or 6 foot does it say 6 foot chargers and I love the ones that are like the rope like this because they tend not to get frayed if you guys seen like I don't know if that's plastic but sometimes it'll like crack and break and little wires you can see them these are nice because that doesn't happen this three pack I figured perfect because I'm so sick of like bringing one in and out of my house for the car so and I, a lot of times I bring one from the living room to the bedroom, living room to the bedroom. So I told Joe, that's it. I'm going to buy this three pack. One's going to go in my car. One's going to stay in the living room. And one is going to go in my classroom. So and this three pack was on super duper deal, guys. I paid like $5. I remember it was like four and change. So that was an amazing deal for this three pack. And then I bought this phone clip light. 
this came highly recommended um, i don't know about this brand necessarily but i've seen so many people they say oh if you're a content creator you should definitely consider buying this one on your phone lighting is so important i've been watching um remy cruz and alicia marie for years i love them and they literally just both went to um italy and they literally showed how they had one of these and they showed the difference of the light on and the light off and i was like wow so let me turn this on for you guys it does charge it is fully charged right now so you guys can see there is that's how you know it's fully charged which is nice i don't want to like blind you guys so be perfect did you guys see the difference though like let me turn off turn off my ring light well, obviously at home i have a ring light you guys can see it in my glasses but when i'm out and about i don't so this is it on obviously i want you know you would clip it to your phone i'll show you that better in a second now let me show you it off off on that I, th I think that's a huge difference right and then you there is different lighting options so i can do like a soft glow you know what this one this one's almost like bluey oh another so so yeah i think there's like four different options you just keep clipping and you get the different options let me um turn this off turn the wing light back on so it is compact because this comes separate so you can hold these two things like in your purse or whatever and then you attach this right here you just shove it in literally boom and then this clips to the top of your phone it also comes with this i don't know if this is for a camera i don't i don't film on my a camera maybe one day in the future but this was a really i wish i had the price because i know this was regularly over 20 dollars like 20 i want to say like 23 and i paid just over 10 i want to say i paid like 12 dollars. this was like a half off deal this was a really good deal this is something i've been wanting for a while it's like been on my wish list and i said oh one of these days so when i saw it was on sale i said i'm gonna finally pick it up all right is that it so we're getting into the books now okay so let me find so two things i bought are book accessories um i have just been in like a crafty mood lately i was literally just adding things on my amazon car like beads and string and i've been thinking about making like necklaces and keychains again i don't know i've just been in a crafty mood so what and you guys know i love to read so i thought this would be perfect for me i am going to make my own bookmarks now i love the ones i buy from gg and bo so i'm only gonna keep like one or two it comes with enough to make 40 so i'm gonna probably give some away give some as gifts so when i showed this on instagram i was confused because when i opened it it says 20 pieces and i said well i got 40. i didn't realize that it was two together so this one all looks like a mason jar and this one is a mix of things as you guys can see so together it is 40 pieces and it is basically like a big sticker you have to like lift and then you put these flowers in them and then close the sticker and there is little holes on the top i gotta buy i was thinking about buying like tassels or something it kind of looks ugly when you see it like this but i someone showed it already made and it looked gorgeous so this right here the 40 pieces of the diy bookmark i saved a dollar i just wanted something crafty regularly 11.99 i got it for 10.99 the pressed flowers regularly 9.99 i paid 8.99 so I see the dollar on this and dollar, this, did, this did come separately. I kind of just shoved it in here in the package because that, that's what I'm going to use it for. This is not going to be enough for all 40. I'm definitely going to have to buy another one. Um, but just something crafty for me to do. And the end result is really pretty. Honestly, I mean, I'll look it, but it is. All right. So books. I finally bought the whole Twisted series. I have heard such good things about this series and i have been getting more and more into romance um i haven't read a mystery thriller like I, i've been saying since my grandmother died um it's just hard to read about death when you're dealing with your own things so i have been fully into romance and have been loving it the twisted series is a romance with a little bit of smut in it which doesn't bother me um i just don't like when it's like all oh, smut all the time so these are normally 17.99 a book and i got them for ten dollars each so basically i got the whole series for 40 bucks i don't think that's bad at all um so it's yeah it literally says on here like twisted games is book two twisted love is book one twisted hate is book three and twisted 
Lies is book four. I think it follows different characters. I think these can be standalones. I could totally be wrong. I have to look into them. But I think it's kind of like other characters in within the books are talked about and showcased in each book. I'm not 100% sure. But I finally treated myself to that series. Then this has been like all over Bookstagram. It is the summer of uh, Broken Rules. And this is normal. It's not usually a super expensive book. It's usually $10.99. But it was $7.50 on Black Friday. They were doing a lot of like $7, $10 deals. So I picked this up. I figured I would read it this summer. I love reading like summer books in the summer. And then I bought The Deal. Which again, this is normally $16.99. Got it for $7. There is, I think this is the same thing. You can read it all separately. But there is like a whole series. So if I like this one, I will definitely read it more. The other ones are The Mistake, The Score, The Goal, and The Legacy. It even says $69.99 on the back. So that's not like made up. And these are sports or romance, which is not a genre I've gotten into. But I know people love them. So I figured I would give it a shot since I've been really into romance lately. And then last but not least, I bought Neon Gods. People have sworn by this one. This one has a lot more smut. Katie Robert is known for being a very smut focused writer and again I'm fine with smut as long as the plot is good because sometimes you read smut books and it's really just okay sex 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 I'm like okay I need a storyline and from what I've heard Katie Robert's storyline with the smut is really well written so again it was one of those eight dollar deals regularly 15 I know there is a whole series with these as well I don't know all the names but I have heard such amazing things. So again, if I like this one, I will buy the whole series. For now, I just treated myself to these one-off books. But the Twisted series is something I've wanted for a while. So I just treated myself to that whole series. But that is everything. I got Amazon Prime Day. All this stuff added up with tax plus the laminator. Because technically the laminator was Walmart. But it's $1,001. Without the laminator, I don't know, subtract 28 It was still well over $900 I saw my bank account going down so I knew I was spending money but I never added it up like that and I was like wow so it's really gonna make me think about stopping and buying and being more considerate with my purchase in the future but honestly like you guys saw a majority of this list was stuff for my classroom so I don't feel guilty um and I bought a lot of cleaning supplies and I bought books I've been wanting the list of things that I just like wanted not necessarily needed is just this right here this is just notes from work that I because I just reuse paper <laughs> so it's not that big of a list of things I just wanted you know so you guys let me know what your favorite thing I bought was what you picked up on Amazon Prime Day that you swear by um did you shop Amazon Prime I I for sure did and I don't and I just got that one more package and that is it. I don't plan, well, I wanna buy, I think I might buy the bracelet making set that I've been looking into. But other than that, I don't wanna look at Amazon for a very long time. Um, so that is basically it for this video. I think I'm gonna be posting this, I'm filming this on Friday, you probably guys are gonna see this tomorrow is what I'm thinking because I don't have an outfit to the week. I literally went to the pool like every day after work. So I just changed right into my bathing suit and then changed right into my pajamas. So, like I said, I might have to take a pause on outfits of the week until I go back, which is like five weeks from now. Um, so, I will figure out something else to do for the Saturday videos in the meantime. I figure right now it's just like a really cool special video. You guys can do all the things I bought on Amazon Prime. Um, you guys know Mondays and Tuesdays are unboxings and hauls. Wednesday is What's Up Wednesday, so it's different every week. Thursday is Book Club. Friday is either vlogs or reviews. I have a vlog I'm going to edit and post right now for today. Saturday is usually the outfits of the week. That will be coming back real soon. And Sunday is self-care Sunday, which I've been struggling with. My self-care has not been the greatest since my grandmother passed. So I don't even know if I have something I'm going to show you guys on Sunday. Actually, I have an idea of something I can do on Sunday. But yeah, I post seven days a week majority of the time. So any that sounds good to you, definitely consider subscribing. Hitting that notification bell so you're notified next time I upload. If you want any of these items, definitely check out the links below. It takes a while to get these links for you guys, but I do it to make it convenient for you. I do make a very, very, very small commission. Literally, I've been doing affiliate links since January and I technically have not made a dollar. I have like 20 sitting in like a bank account and they say once they hit 25, they can release it to me. So uh, that just shows how minuscule 
you make. You literally make pennies on the order. It doesn't affect you at all. The price stays the same. It's just the company saying, okay, she got them to buy this product, so she earns this much money, you know? So definitely check out the links below. Comment, like I said, let me know what your favorite item was. If you liked me, you liked the Amazon Prime, you like big hauls like this, give the video a thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithm. It'll help get me out there. That is it for this video. I think I'm going to go vacuum out my car. Be safe, guys.